So as you know, we're starting a process of trying to discern which are the next mission or communities that we should start up here in Shirley. But I know some people have been saying, well, it'd be great to hear a little bit more about what it's like to be in a mission or community. Uh, well, uh, at no expense spared, fresh from her round of interviews with the BBC and elsewhere, I've managed to secure an exclusive interview with Amy Powis. Uh, before she moved to Shirley, she was part of a missional community in the Westbury Park area of Bristol, and she's going to tell us a little bit about what it was like to be part of that community. Our missional community was intergenerational, so our youngest was born whilst we were meeting, uh, so she was zero. <laughs> Uh, and our eldest was an amazing couple uh, who'd been so faithful to the church who were in their 80s. So we had families, um, people who were single, who um, people who were working, people who were unemployed, people who were retired. And we used to meet um, every two weeks and it really became like family to me. Um, so for us, intergenerationally, we used to meet at four o'clock uh, in the afternoon and we went right through till ten. And we had um, kids time, then we had a shared meal together, we ate together um, at least every two weeks. And then we'd do some Bible study focusing on mission, so we went through the book of Acts, looking at what the, um, what the first church did. Something that for my non-Christian friends really stood out for them was the fact that I had uh, friends who were four or five um, and friends who were in their 80s. They couldn't get their head around why I'd want to share my life with people of a different generation. For us, we all lived within a 10 minute walk of each other and that was the plan geographically, um, that we'd be close enough to make an impact in our shops. So some of the really basic things we started doing is we started regularly using our local shops rather than going to, to Sainsbury's or to Tesco's, just small things we did like that. We started to pray for our local schools. We started to regularly go on prayer walks around Westbury Park. We came up with the strap line, the tagline, um, your neighbour is important to me because they are your neighbour. And we went about really blessing the streets that we lived on. So we'd hold street parties. We would do um, special blessing boxes at Christmas, which we would deliver to our different neighbourhoods, um, different neighbours, sorry, um, we would sing carols in the street for people, we'd offer to do people's gardens, um, we went to a local care home that was in our neighbourhood. We just reached out um, intentionally. But missional community is slightly different as the mission becomes the focus rather than the fellowship or the discipleship. We were a great missional community because we had a shared mission and a shared focus. I sometimes think that when I do youth camp in the summer, we get to know each other so quickly because we have a shared mission and a shared aim. And that's what Mission Community does. It gathers a group of people who love Jesus and want to see um, that love walked out in our neighbourhoods. And it makes us so intentional about what we do that everything we do in that group um, is done to bring the name of Jesus to that area or to that um to that issue and I really hope um, and believe that through missional communities we can too become pockets of families who are ready to go out and to take the gospel to different people in Shirley. Oh that's it folks!